what is the difference between BC, AD, and CE, BCE? Hello, and welcome to Cask Theology, a channel about theology and beer. And since this episode releases in December, I figured I'd do something relating to the birth of Jesus. So this episode was inspired in part by a few Twitter threads I've seen this year. Uh, these are Twitter threads of fellow edutubers discussing which one of these two formats they were going to use and why they picked which one they did. So I figured I'd give a quick rundown of the two types which do relate to Jesus, honest, and which one I'm probably going to use in the future and hopefully I'll clear up a bit of confusion for us all. To start off then, a little bit of history. The calendar that we all know and love today and use every day is called the Gregorian calendar. Now this didn't turn up until the 1500s when Pope Gregory decided he was going to tweak the previous calendar. The previous calendar was called the Julian calendar and this had been introduced by a certain Julius Caesar. Now roughly 525 years after the Julian calendar was adopted by the Roman Empire there was a Christian scholar called Dionysius who decided he was going to take on the very fun job of working out which day Easter was going to land on for the next century or so. But when he decided to do that, he also decided he was going to make a subtle change to part of this, one which would eventually change how time would be viewed by us. So to explain a little bit further, back in Dionysius's day, it was very common to mark the era that you were in by attaching the name of who was in charge at the time to the year. So for us Brits, we would be in the era of the 67th year of the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. However, for old Dionysius, this would not wash because the man in charge at the time, the emperor, was Diocletian, and he was enacting the greatest and most severe persecution of Christians that the faithful had ever seen this far. Deciding not to give Diocletian any honor whatsoever, Dionysius decided he was going to attach a name to the year that he actually respected. So when he finally finished his work, he declared it as the year 525 in the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, at this point, the years weren't numbered like we number them. So how did he end up with this 525 number? Well, here's the thing, he didn't actually say, but most scholars think that he went through scripture, worked out the timings and dates of certain events, and worked back from there to try and get a date for when Jesus would have been born. Uh, so he declared year one to be when Jesus was born, and it wasn't actually a bad guess as most scholars nowadays put Christ's birth from about 4 to 6 AD. So, what is AD? Well, the notation AD is from the Latin version of the phrase, the year of our Lord, and it reads out as Anno Domini. It didn't catch on for a little while, but soon many took to using it, and this new epoch was born. Now, BC, its counterpart, is actually an English notation, and it means before Christ. Now, this came about through an English scholar who was called Bede and he was doing his writing and he needed a phrase to note something that actually happened before the current era. So he just said before Christ and it kind of stuck. Now in his writing he did write it in Latin but it translates to English as pretty much the same thing and it's through this usage of these two that the whole BC AD numbering system became popular. Let's talk about BCE and CE then. What's this all about? It seems like this notion's only sprung up recently, but it's actually been around a lot longer than you'd think. The notations themselves are acronyms of Common Era and Before Common Era, and they were first seen used in the 1600s, although the phrase they used back then was the Vulgar Era. But in the 1600s, Vulgar was another name for Common. Once again, this was a way of removing the year from being attached to monarchs because people were still doing it back then. And this phrase was coined by a man named Kepler, whose name now adorns one of NASA's telescopes, since he was known for his work on planetary motions. Now, CE, back in the time when it was coined, was also used to denote the Christian era, and it was used interchangeably with the vulgar era or common era feel of things. And this, gets to the crux of the matter and the main difference between CE, BC and AD, BC. There isn't one really, they both refer to the same year. The only difference is the letters and what they stand for. Now the use of CE and BCE has seen a surge of popularity in recent years and for varying reasons. For instance, Jewish scholars often use these because of the whole AD thing. They don't believe Christian claims 
so why should they use AD? While Jews do have their own calendar, most of them use the Gregorian like everyone else, so a simple change keeps everyone on the same page. Essentially, CE, BCE is a secular term. It's not affiliated with anyone, but it's all talking about the same era. So 2020 AD is the same as 2020 CE. Interestingly, when I was doing my degree, these terms were being increasingly used by theologians, with one reason that they cited as being that it helped with interfaith dialogue. The calendar created by Christians is now used by many, many people who come from all over the world of different beliefs, or lack of. However, it does have to be noted that the increasing usage of CEBC has rubbed some Christians up the wrong way, and you will sometimes see complaints in comment sections of videos. Now, as for me, I've used both notations over the last couple of years, using ADBC in my video about Paul, for example. As for me, I will probably settle on using BCE and CE at some point, but before you start hitting those keyboards to complain, do remember that this common era that we all share starts at the birth of Christ. Well then, that's the difference between ADBC and CEBCE. I hope you found this helpful and that you learned something new today. I've got a special episode lined up this month, so stay tuned if you want to see it. And the best way to do that, of course, is to subscribe. So until then, go grab yourself a drink and keep asking questions.